and Herzegovina have made a couple of changes from their 5-0 win over Luxembourg. And then Hasegic replaces Azmir Begovic in goal. Hadad Ibisevic also goes out of the side as Boris Panzer comes in at centre-half. Sasa Papac moves over to left-back. And Sinad Lulic, a Lazio teammate of Jibril Cisse, who is on the front bench, France bench, moves up to the left side in midfield. Edin Dzeko now, with time to turn, lines up an early shot, it takes a deflection. And Bosnia have the first corner. It came off Adil Rami, and Dzeko drove down the middle. With two defensive midfielders in this lineup, Janic with a bit of a free roll. He likes to find space and has a wonderful right boot. Decent attack here as the ball comes over and the header in from Lulic, ahead of his opponent Lulic. Misimovic now with the tricks. Headed only as far as Medunyanin, losing home and away 1-0 to Portugal on both occasions as Pjanic is on the ball now. He plays it up to Dzeko, Pjanic back with it. And it's high and wide from Medunyanin. Elected to strike it first time. It's never going to trouble Hugo Loris, the shot from the Maccabi Tel Aviv midfielder. And has scored three goals. Medunyanin. Papac. Anthony Rebier gives it away to Lulic. Here's Lulic. Well, what a chance that was for Bosnia inside the first four minutes. Mistake here from Rebier. Lulic pounced onto it, but didn't connect cleanly in his right footed attempt. Really should have got that one on target. Rami overrunning the ball and Lulic nicks in again. Here's Misimovic into Dzeko. And anywhere will do from Mvila and France a rattle. More neat football with Misimovic spreading it wide to Mudza. Header from Abidal, only as far as Lulic. Abidal Rami's header, it's back with Misimovic, a mishit shot. <laughs> Nipping in there well. And running through the middle is Loic Remy, this could change everything. Overruns the ball. that Remy chance heavy touch oh dangerous ball in all it needed was for that header to be on goal and Bosnia could have gone in front there there was Panzer up from the back beautiful ball into Lulic Misimovic tries to get it out of his feet. Misimovic plays it up for the volley. Epidal's header falling to him. This was the Pjanic ball. Delightful. Panzer, that oh, lovely touch from Misimovic. Dzeko trying to muscle his way past Rami. Dzeko! Wonderful skill from Misimovic. Bustling qualities of Edin Dzeko. The two teammates calling for the pass, as any natural striker would tend to. He went for goal.
Grozny. Can they could do something on the break? They've got a two on one here with Pjanic and Dzeko. Oh, the ball is slightly overhit for him. Dzeko on his stronger left boot misses the target. What a chance for the Manchester City forward. He's looking for the top corner at the near post. He's some distance off finding it. As I said, the ball from Pjanic did. Dzeko is the only target in the middle. Played in low to Dzeko, lays it off to Papac. Dzeko was barely back on his feet when the ball was played to him by the Glasgow Rangers left back. Pjanic. Important header there. Pjanic dropping off to find space. Dzeko in the middle waiting for the ball. Dzeko, another miss hit. Asians have emerged as the class of Group D and on the night class of display has been put in by Sampo Susic's Bosnia. Dzeko, Pjanic lays it off, Medunjanin reflects off Rami and Hugo Lloris watchfully. Dzeko, Dzeko, what a goal! The Manchester City forward has given Bosnia and Herzegovina the lead and it's no more than they deserve after a fabulous first half display. It all stemmed from that handball by Jan and Villa. The free kick taken quickly. Dzeko held off Rami and found the corner of Hugo Lloris's net with an accurate finish. No chance for the keeper. Well, I wonder if Rami was affected by the twinge in his knee. It would be stupid to waste it all. That's the headline in that newspaper. Sheer delight for both. Misimovic. Have a ball up to Dzeko. Always keen to get a shot away as the Manchester City forward. Disciplined by Man City coach Roberto Mancini. Dzeko, lovely ball for Lulic. Couldn't take it first time. Lulic finds Dzeko, important block by Rami. Image heads it back in and Vila away. Free kick on Mudza. Mudza is still receiving treatment after this challenge. Oh, it was a nasty one, wasn't it? The goal is what they need. Everett's ball in. The Luders flicked header. Able to direct it goalwards, the Chelsea midfielder. Remy. Loic Remy looks for the far post. Cross come shot from the Marseille forward. Remy full of positive intent. He's in fine form. Spajic's header as far as Mvila. Menez beats his man with ease. Menez. Danic has Panzer to aim for.
Dzeko winning the header against Rami. Medunian in. The danger that as France push forward, they will leave themselves exposed at the back. Marvin Martin. France's first shot on target. Turned around the post by Begovic. Well, Martin announced himself on the international stage with two goals on debut and an assist and a cameo appearance in a 4-1 friendly win in Ukraine. Dzeko lays it off to Misimovic. Dzeko onside. Nasri off the bar. Begovic pushed it up onto the crossbar. How close France came. Fine free kick by the Manchester City man. Let's have another look at the Nasri free kick. Begovic couldn't get enough on it to push it over the bar. Enough to get it onto the bar. And Abidal couldn't follow up. Steaming in was Adil Rami. Begovic keeping his cool. Here's Dzeko. Edin Dzeko. A weak finish, but Lois doesn't deal with it well. Abidal slipping. Dzeko is in on goal. Martin. On the run is Nasri. He will keep it in play. Attempts to turn Spajic. Oh, is that a penalty? Indeed it is, Samuel Nasri has won a penalty off the Bosnian captain, Emir Spahic. A bit of skill from Nasri, stumbled from Spahic, he lifted up his leg, he claimed that that was outside the box. Right on the edge, and Nasri scores! France won, Bosnia and Herzegovina won. And Nasri successful from the spot. Romero in the middle. Menez working it onto his stronger right foot. Nasri takes on Spajic again. Tries to chip Begovic. Almost worked. Menez. Menez on the surge. Oh, Gamero centimetres away from connecting. Pjanic. former Leon teammate Hugo Loris could just watch that one go wide trying to strike it out of Cristiano Ronaldo Loris's clutch oh Bosnia wanted a penalty what were they hoping for well they felt that Patrice Evra had his arms around Spajic Misimovic and round the back was Papac. Papac unable to get a controlled header on it. He's trying to play it back across for his captain Spajic. That match back in 1993 when Bulgaria ran down the other field and scored. But France have it back and France are through. France won. Bosnia and Herzegovina won. Samir Nasri's equaliser from the penalty spot, enough for...